How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're going to be talking about inventory management in Don't Starve. Now one of the easiest ways to tell how experienced the player is just by a single screenshot is looking at their inventory. Sure, you could make the case that the character the player is currently playing also sort of tips their hand as towards their experience level, but I personally play Wilson because he's the iconic figurehead of Don't Starve. However, the inventory actually says more than that, more than the character you're playing because it says a lot about who you are. Because a lot of novice players won't manage their inventory correctly. They will have all sorts of junk in it and none of the actual important items or very few of them. And so that's why more than having a specific inventory layout, just having a plan for where things go in your inventory is the most important. So today we're going to be running through the inventory setup that I use. Now this is not the per most perfect system, I don't think such a thing exists, but it is a system that has worked for me and other people. And when I am playing seriously, I try to always stick to it. So without out of the way, let's take a look at what we have here. As you will have probably noticed, and I'm going to be doing this on the PC version, so if you're playing on the console, this might not be as applicable, I'm mostly talking about PC here. But if you've noticed anything about Don't Starve and their inventory, it's split up into five little boxes. There are three groups of these boxes, and then there's your actual headgear, body gear, and equipment that you hold in your hand. Well, speak of the devil, it's raining. Now, the, in my current layout, I can simply switch headgear by pressing 2. There we go. All of a sudden, I have my eye umbrella on, and I don't have to worry about the rain. And if something happens and I have to switch to combat, simply press 1 and I've got my log suit on, just like that. And when I pick up the backpack, log suit goes back in its place. And the same thing goes for the weapon. Uh, so the first five slots, you'll generally see these as, these, these are generally considered the most important slots, they're the easiest to access. So that's why, for myself, I will have my suit of armor or my seasonal clothing in the first slot, headgear in the second slot, it could be an umbrella in this case, or a football helmet, I especially like using the football helmet while I'm actually using a backpack because it provides my character with armor in case something unexpected happens. In the third slot, you have lighting, third and fourth slots are lighting. Uh, generally, given how easy it is to die to darkness and don't starve, you kind of want to always have a backup uh, source of lighting in case something goes wrong and you lose your main, your primary source. So in my case, I have a lantern and a torch. In, if you don't have a lantern yet, you can just have two torches in there. Pretty much the same thing. And then in slot 5, we have the ham bat. And this, is, this could be any of your weapons. Uh, it does not necessarily matter. It could be a tool, for example. And it's something that you're just going to be switching between each time. You can either press 5 or you can click on it. It's as simple as that. Then in the middle here, this is generally where I just keep my miscellaneous stuff. If I'm walking around picking up things around the world, if I'm gathering some resources, these are the flexible slots. So there's really nothing that's committed to these slots and I will generally put whatever needs be in those slots at the time. And then we move on to the third grouping of five slots and in the first one I would generally put my main food source. So in this case I have I have jerky. Jerky is a, is a very very good all around food to be carrying with you, it's hard to go wrong. Then in the slot after that, I have the life-giving amulet. Now this is a relatively easy item to acquire very very early in the game. It does not require, it just requires a few basic resources and it can revive you if you're wearing it. So it's generally recommended that you build one as soon as possible because that means that you don't have to rely on a touchstone or sacrificing some of your health for a meat effigy. If you don't have the life-giving amulet yet, I find that this is personally a good slot for flint or for gold. A flint in the early game, gold in the later parts of the game because it allows you to make weapons pretty easily. It's relatively easy to access and sometimes you need to make a weapon. And since in the later parts of the game, gold is so abundant, uh, you could swap it out for that. But then again, in the later parts of the game, you probably want to be using a life-giving amulet instead. Okay, so then in the last three slots, we have the critical resources. These are resources that you need to build pretty much the base fundamentals of the game. So if you want to build a torch, a campfire, a log suit, any of that kind of stuff that is very essential to your survival. When you're short of everything else, these three resources can be considered the most important. And then you can also, you just basically use the backpack for whatever additional items you need to pick up. Uh, the backpack is definitely exchangeable, like during the winter especially, or during the summer seasons where I usually wear 
uh, seasonal clothing. I will generally swap out a backpack for a, a, a clothing article that's appropriate for the season. For example, the puffy vest during the winter, and then I'll have the puffy vest in uh, my, or on my character or in the first slot so I can swap in between the two and the same thing can go with the uh, headgear it can either be like a tam o' shantern or the eyebrella well eyebrella wouldn't work in the winter or the football helmet in that case so overall this has worked quite well for me and the most important thing is what it allows you to do when you have a plan is it saves you a ton of time looking for things in your inventory if you're not sure if you don't have your inventory planned out for where everything is you're going to be constantly searching it while you're playing and in games especially like don't starve where you can't just pause the game to examine it or to analyze it and look for whatever you're, it is you're looking for like, uh, this is a huge boon. It's going to save you a ton of time and it can actually give you the edge versus other players. Not only that, it's also a sign to other players who see any screenshots you post that you are a serious player who actually knows a bit about the game. So anyway, uh, like I said before, there is no perfect way to manage your inventory. This is just a layout that has worked for me. The most important thing is actually having a plan for where everything goes in your inventory. For example, right here we have night. Equip with torch, we can equip the lantern, and I will be including a cheat sheet for this layout in the description below this video so you can download that and have it displayed on your tablet or on your second monitor while you're playing. Just a subtle reminder of a good inventory layout. If you have a personal favorite inventory layout, let me know about it in the comments section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.